How's it going guys? Today I thought I'd try something a little different compared to usual. I thought I'd uh, record a little bit of a uh, Pokemon trading card game online. Um, I've been playing a lot of this recently and I've been doing okay to be fair. So what I thought I'd actually do today is show you my deck. I've got a few decks. Um, I'm going to show you one or two of the ones I play with. And I'm going to open up a few packs that I've got saved up to show you all. To see if I get any good pulls. And then I may even play a game, see how I get on, eh? What do you reckon? Anyway, let's have a little look at my decks first. Let's go to my deck manager. I'm gonna have some random names as well. I've got like Fire and Fist, that's one of my most regular ones. Um, Fist from Hell, Fist from Hell 2. Um, say Fist from Hell 2. Play 14 games, won 11 of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty good. I mean, I've only been playing um, the Pokemon trading card game online now for about, um, I don't know, two, maybe three weeks, I think. So, you know, I'm just kind of getting into it. Um, Fist from Hell. Let's have a look. Overall played 45, 133. Well, not too bad. Getting pretty good on that one. Hot Psychice. What have we got on there? Played 45. Oh, wrong one. one. Played 13, one six. Hmm, about the halfway mark. I didn't do too good with that deck. I think I was just learning my decks at that point. And Fire and Fist. Played 50, 127. Yeah, about halfway mark on that one again. So I'm definitely doing pretty good with these two. But these ones have got some very big cards in there. Um, what do I mean by that? Let's... Uh, Let's have a look, shall we? Now, I decided to go with a few dealings, because, as you know, they're a very good card to get. I mean, for one colorless power, search your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. You can get any Pokemon you want, which, as you will see in a minute, that's bad news if I get that on the first draw. So I got a couple of them. Boom. Grudon EX. Look at the damage this guy does. You know, that's absolutely crazy. I mean, for one fight in um, energy and a colorless energy, flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Only 30 damage, but I mean, if the other guy's got a stackable counter kind of Pokemon, then that's going to hurt him. You know, it's going to do damage because he's taking away his counters. Who else we got? Oh, another one. Different artwork, beautiful artwork on it. But hey, <laughs> look at the damage sky does. I mean, I got a lot of EX cards. I'll be straight up with you now. I mean, people hate it. I don't know why. I mean, if you got them, use them, I say. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm quite new to this, so I mean, if my deck offends people or if it's against some sort of regulations, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments section. Because I mean, like I said, I'm just getting used to all this kind of stuff, so, you know. Then of course, requires the EX. I mean, I tend to use this one a lot more against other people's EXs simply because of his intensifying burn. I mean, Dragon Pulse, if I'm in the... Oh, excuse me. If I pull him off, like, in the first few pulls, um, in the middle of uh, the start of the game, then I might use his Dragon Pulse, because... It's a lot of damage to give to someone, but at the end of the day, you're discarding your top three cards. I mean, this game is about thinking about... It's all about thinking. I mean, it's a strategy game. You know, it's not just about doing your damage to the other person's uh, Pokemon card, and that's it. You've got to think about how you're going to do it, what your next move is going to be. You've got to think a couple of moves ahead every single step. I mean, that's how you get ahead. You know, and if the other person you're playing against doesn't think ahead, <laughs> you're going to wreck them. You know, so I mean... Doing this, discard the top three cards of your deck. If it's at the close to the beginning of the game, you can get away with discarding a couple of cards, you know. But then you gotta hope you got some good trainer cards so you can pull them back out. It's all about thinking. So then let's see what we got in the next card. Ratata. Why have I got Ratata? You'll see why now. 30 HP. <laughs> Hopefully I can pull this guy at the beginning of the game. Flip a coin if heads defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. One. One color card, any color card, doesn't matter what I put on there, he's good to go. But the reason why I pulled him out was because of this. Eradicate. Now, 
I haven't actually used this yet, so I don't fully understand if what I'm thinking is correct. But as far as Super Fang, now it says if I put three, any three color on there, put damage counters on the defending Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. So my line of thought of that is if he's got, say, like a Rayquaza on there and his HP is 170, if I use this bad boy and I do that uh, damage with Super Fang, Rayquaza's health or hit points is now 10. So I could pull him out. Hopefully he doesn't pull out Rayquaza and I stick someone else in, do a little love tap, so to speak, and boom, Rayquaza's dead. See, his card's gone. That's if I'm reading it right. If I'm not, please comment below and let me know because that's my understanding of it. I know me, I'm probably wrong, but that's my understanding of it. Let's see, do duo. I got the 30 times damage on if you flip heads. I'm gonna go for the higher ones with these guys because his, his evolution I've done some serious damage with. That's my friend Game of Freak, he'll tell you. Watch this one now. Boom, 40 times the attack with Fury. That is absolutely insane, man. So you've got 40, then possibly three other 40s. So you're talking 40, 80, 120, 160 damage. That is absolutely insane. You know, I mean, that's pro that's close to taking down a full EX card in one hit. Dude, Dodrio is crazy powerful. You know, for a standard stage one Pokemon, dude, he wrecks. What else we got? Right horn. Not a bad little card, mainly went for him because of his evolution and I think I might have went for him because of one of the higher cards again, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's because of an EX card or something. Let's have a look. Because I know I went for Raidon, which was uh, pretty decent. I mean, you know, you want to take off some of their um, top cards from the deck, that's right. That was a good use, but like I said, I think I went for him because of uh, one of his other ones. Yeah, there it is, right for you, the hammer arm. Any damage done to your Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by ten after applying weaknesses. I mean that's that's not amazing. I mean there's other Pokemons out there that does better than that. But, I mean you got a hundred hammer arm there, which to be fair you've already got four counters already on him, so this kind of negates. So you've already got four counters, so you don't have to worry about powering them up any further. So and you get to do hundred damage and discard the top card of your opponent's deck. 160 hit power. It's not a EX, but it's a lovely, beautiful shiny. It works. It's nice. Well, let's go. Oh, this is quite possibly my favorite card of all time. I think it's pronounced your Vettel, and it's the EX card. This very first one, Evil Ball. I destroy nearly everybody with this card. The, you put on, um, I think it's Dark Energy and a Colorless. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So if I got those two on, that's 40 already, plus that one is 60. So I just stack this Pokemon with as much energy as possible. And then you get to see the other people, they've got their cards out, and they're always stacking their Pokemon. They never read what my guys do for some reason. So I'm just sitting there laughing like mad, like, dude, you are legitimately killing yourself right now. You're stacking up your guy with as much energy as you can, and I'm just gonna eat him for breakfast in one hit. This is my one hit wonder card. I mean, yeah, he's got weaknesses. People have destroyed this card, don't get me wrong, after a good few hits. But if I got enough counters on this, boom, game over. Especially if I got a bandana on there, um, or I got one of the other uh, cards kind of thing. Oof, game over. I love it. You know, Cario, another absolute beast. I mean, look at all these people. I mean, we're nine minutes in now, so I better speed this up a little bit. <laughs> I might do this. I might turn this into two videos. Let's see how we go. So I might just do a quick deck review and then uh, do a pack opening. Another Lucario. Same powers as the one before. Zygarde X. I mean, yeah, I've got all fighting and um, colorless power, guys. And it works for me, as you can see by the amount of wins and plays I've had from it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm doing better with it. You know, then we go into trainer cards, crushing hammer, acro bike, search your deck for three uh, basic energy cards. Very useful thing to have. I got two of them in this deck. Um, draw three cards, another good thing to have. Got four of them in my deck. 
um, Carino. Not sure how many is in this bag. I think it's like it says three there. Not sure if I've actually got three in this pack though. Um, I know I got one or two of these in there. There's one of these in here. I haven't got eight trainer cards in this actual pack or deck, but I think it's like three or four at least. You gotta have a lot of heal in there, guys. Gotta have a lot of heals. You know, these are the muscle bands, I call them the bandanas. So, yeah, look at that. This attack of the Pokemon, this card is attached to does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, that's balling as hell, guys. I mean, you know, if you're sat there with all your counters, like my uh, Yvettel guy, oh, imagine if I've got like a hundred worth of counter on me doing damage against them, they've got a hundred on them, so that's 200 plus this 20 more damage. That's 220. Boom. If they got a weakness against him as well. Oh my god. No matter what happens, it's game over. You know? That's why I love that Pokemon so much. It's great. This belt, oh my lord. When I got this, I was ecstatic. 40 extra HP on top of Vettel, which is like 170 or something. So that takes him up to 210. Plus it does 10 more damage. So depending which one I get first, either that one or that one. If I get this one first, that goes on instantly. If I get this, I'll try and hold out for about three or four turns till I get, see if I get this. If not, then I'll put this one on straight away. Cause that's obviously preferred with the extra HP, you know? Um, loads of colorless energies, extra. These energies are freaking amazing. Love these. Extra damage per one. The attack of the uh, fighting Pokemon this card is attached to does 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before playing weakness. So that's an extra 20 on top of his damage, plus all the counters or whatever you got on top of it, plus if you got one of these things on top. Oh, guys, you're stacking them like mad. Think what you're doing in the game, you know? You're laughing. So that's the basic setup. I got these two coins I could go from a couple of different deck packs. Those are the only sleeves I've got. So yeah, that's... Um, that's that deck. The Fist from Hell 1 original deck is very much similar. So it's just like the odd one or two little changes. I'll just quickly skim through this. I got, you know, actually in this one I've got more evolutionary stages, quite a few tim um, dealings. Timber is good. Uh, gong Gonglida. Is it? Gonglida? Yeah, Gonglider. And we got Torchic, Combuscon, Blaziken. See, so I mean, in this one I've got a few more of them. I decided to put um, sort of Wudu, Wudu into this one. I can't remember his name, sorry guys. <laughs> put him in this one because he might be weak with HP, but if your opponent's Pokemon uses an attack during his or her last turn, use it as attack. So if he's got a really powerful Pokemon that comes out and lashes and kills one of my guys, I can flip him in straight away and I can use their attack straight back at them. So it'll do the same amount of damage back. So I mean, fake break, one sec. Hmm, balling. So yeah, I mean, that's a balling card to have, like, you know what I mean? Then, there it is again. That beastly card. Oof. Lucario again. Um, if anyone knows how to play this card, please let me know, because I'm having trouble. I stuck him in this deck, and I put in some sort of trainer card to figure it out, but I, I don't know what I'm doing with him. I mean, he's there, I just don't know how to use it. I mean, I've drawn it out, I've tried to put him on my deck, um, on the uh, board, but it just doesn't work, so if anyone knows, please let me know. What else we got here? Ah, oh, the lower ends I regard, or basics I regard, I should say. And um, Big Daddy's basics I regard. <laughs> Crushing hammer. So, see, that was that was the one I thought I needed to activate the Aerodactyl, but apparently not. So, um, I guess I read that somewhere online, but yeah, it doesn't quite work. So, if anybody knows how to um, activate, I guess that restored Aerodactyl, please let me know. Uh, you know, the standard trainer cards, and they got really good um, uses out of these. Like I said, it's all about thinking, it's all about strategy, you know, figure out what your opponent's going to do, be a few steps ahead of them, read their cards, figure out what they're going to do. Do that, guys, and, you know, you'll have a bit of success in the game. I mean, I'm not claiming to be the best of the best, or a Pokemon master or whatever, like, you know what I mean, but, um, I've got a few decks there. 
Like I said, I mean, these numbers, they they kind of speak for themselves, if you know what I mean. I mean, these numbers, these were the very first two decks I made. And yeah, I mean, to be fair, winning half of every game site I've won, one kind of thing, half of average, just pretty good, to be fair. And then, like, after a week of playing, I'm kicking butt. No, I'm kicking ass. So, I mean, I'm learning. I'm developing a method where I just read people, read their cards, strategize everything. And it's working. So, I mean, good luck, guys. You know, play the game. Have fun. It's really good fun, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm basically going to cut this video here now. And I'll make another one. Um with the deck opening or pack opening I should say I got a few packs there um, I'm not sure exactly how many I got some quick peekaboo oh yeah I got the 10 steam siege and 3 fates collide so I'll do another video of them now in a bit and I'll get that one uploaded and uh, we'll see how, if I get anything good in them but for now guys thank you very much for watching or stopping by and we shall Catch you soon. Oh, drop a like and a sub for only if you wanna.